What's up guys, this is Technocube and you are watching Mobile Computing Fundamental. In the previous session we had seen noise impairments or the transmission impairments. Well in this session we will understand with a new topic and that topic name is channel capacity. So what do you mean by channel capacity is basically when a sender so when a sender wants to send some data to the receiver then this sender is sending a data with something called as channel so this is your channel it can be any if you are using wired connection then there would be a cable if you are using wireless connection then there would be an air as a medium so this is a channel and this side the data is going to be flow with this channel and received to the receiver so this is the basic idea now the thing is we have to play with this channel in the exchange of the information now this channel is very important here because based on this channel you can transfer your data from one end to the another end right this is the thing so indirectly we want to increase something called as data rate okay so this is we want to increase so in general we want to increase our data rate and your data rate is completely depend on the channel capacity which, which is very important okay why it is depend dependent on the channel capacity as you see here right now i have one sender and one receiver so if they are using one channel here but it is not possible for this sender to send 24 cross 7 and he cannot use this channel for 24 cross 7 so so here there is a way stage there is a way stage of channel right there is a way stage of channel and therefore there is there is a reason to increase this capacity so that we don't you know we we, we do not this we do not do this this way stage of channel not happen so to increase the data rate I will again create an, a, a complete different section for this. So your data rate, let me write it down here. Your, oh, come on, it's still new for me. Okay, so your data rate, your data rate depends, your data rate depends upon three criteria or three things. So the first thing is going to be your bandwidth. So the first thing is bandwidth. I hope you know the bandwidth meaning. It means the difference of higher frequencies to the lower frequency. Okay. Then bandwidth and then there is something called as level of the signal. This is level of signal. This is, this is continuation uh, to the channel capacity. Okay. So the level of the signal. Then the third thing that it needs is the quality is the quality of the channel okay so these are the three things on which your data rate depends on there is bandwidth there is level of signal and the quality of the signal or the quality of the channel okay so now based on this three criteria we have two channel in general okay so the two channel name is one is we generalize it in the term in on the basis of noise one is known as noise less channel one is known as noise less channel and the other one is known as noisy channel okay now the problem here is if you see in real time computer network we do not exist or computer network doesn't exist something called as noiseless channel this is not possible right because every communication network has some some of its part associated with noise so it will it is always going to be there in the communication channel so we cannot ignore it right so that's why we don't do not have this noiseless channel but in general we have noisy channel so we always work with noisy channel and not with noiseless channel this noiseless channel is can be used with the research purpose where we where we want some ideal conditions you can use noiseless channel so this 
channel or this noiseless channel i will precisely write it is theoretically theoretically it is correct theoretically correct however practically practically incorrect okay so your noiseless channel is is not possible okay now associated with these two channel we have these for the channel capacity we have these two channel and i will i will i will distinguish these two channel on the basis of uh, you know the noise okay so the noiseless channel let's talk about the noiseless channel first of all so your noiseless channel it is derived by by nyquist you know it is a scientist who derived it so we call this at a nyquist this is the name nyquist bit rate or the data rate bit rate and data rate it's exactly the same so we have nyquist bit rate we call noiseless channel as nyquist bit rate and the formula of bit rate here on in the terms of noiseless we have bit rate equals to we have 2 cross bandwidth 2 cross bandwidth cross log to the base 2 and l here l is number of level okay so this is the equation that you need to remember whenever you deal with this ideal condition of noiseless channel i hope you will remember it okay so here uh, the si unit is going to be bits per second so i will precisely write it down this is bps that is your bits per second and when, whenever you want to calculate nyquist bit rate this is the formula 2 cross bandwidth cross log base 2 l okay i hope you will understand it but now here is this problem with, with this noiseless channel now the problem is you see here i will precisely write it down here the problem of noise less channel problem associated problem associated with noiseless channel or nyquist bit rate is that as you increase as you increase the number of as you increase the increase the number of levels as you increase the number of level there is a problem of re, of the of the reliability at the receiver side so it will reduce it will reduce the reliability reliability of the system at the receiver side so this is the problem to understand it let's say i have level or l equals to 2 then i can precisely understand what is l equals to 2 it is something like this so this is my level 1 and this may be your level 2 actually this is level 3 but let me just remove this level 2 is something like this okay so this is your level 1 so this is your level 1 and this is going to be your level 2 now receiver can understand this thing because this is going to be 0 this is going to be 1 and this is going to be 0 i can understand it if i create one more then this is going to be 1 if i create again then it is going to be 0 receiver can understand this thing but now as you increase the number of level let's say my l is equals to 64 this is not possible for me to draw the 64 levels because you see if i create level 1 and 2 then again i can create level 3 then again i can create level 4 but think about level 64 it is going to be like an, an enormous you know levels i cannot count it so that's why this is the problem for this is the problem for the receiver the there is a problem of reliability at the receiver side receiver side there is a problem to calculate it right so he is going to be receiver is I will write it down it is unable unable to distinguish unable to distinguish between 64 level between 64 different level this is the problem 
so this is noise noiseless channel it is not working in the you know current scenario in the network layer but then there is this problem uh, you know associated with the noiseless channel as you increase the number of level there is a reliability uh, reduction this is the problem okay now let's understand the other channel capacity and the other channel capacity is known as noisy channel let me write it down here this is noisy channel we call this noisy channel as shannon capacity shannon is again a scientist who had created the formula to calculate noisy channel and the data rate okay so this is also known as shannon capacity or the noisy channel okay now to calculate it you can calculate with the help of i will write it down here capacity or the bit rate or the data rate capacity is equals to you can calculate with bandwidth again you can see it is it depends on bandwidth cross log to the base 2 but here instead of number of level i have something called as 1 plus snr snr you already know this is signal to noise ratio so this is the formula to calculate the capacity of the noisy channel now here you know that snr uh, signal to noise ratio now now what is the advantage of this capacity as you can see this channel depends on as it depends on it depends on bandwidth and snr these are the only two factors on which this capacity depends on right however with the noiseless channel it depends on something called as level and that's the problem here there is no level so there is no problem of reliability in the system you can see and it gives you the highest data rate using this as your noisy channel doesn't depends on number of level this capacity this capacity gives you highest data rate okay so this is your noisy channel i hope you understand it okay if you understand it then if you have any doubt or if you understand quite clear then please you know feedback me in the comment section i would be really really um, you know this is going to be a good help for me and uh, thank you so much for listening to me and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then i insist you to please subscribe it and there there are so many other playlists too in my channel you can visit and can learn okay thank you so much